When you look at the last couple of years, nobody has bought more graded stakes winners than this man right here, Ken McPeak. Uh, what is the secret to success? Don't want to expose any trade secrets, though. Um, I've trained a lot of bad horses when I was younger, and I know what they look like. Um, and it's a lot of hard work. You know, we come out here and we work, um, put a lot of miles on the old shoes. Um, you got to keep your head down, keep looking. We, um, we squeeze a sale. When I say that, we take each session and we squeeze them down into the horses we like on the physical. I don't get um, real heavy on the pedigree. I want to see a, a horse that can physically win a race that is a high level. And um, I've got a great group of clients that allow me the the freedom to be able to get at, get after those. Um, I'd like to have a little bigger budget for book one and two, but at the same time, there's more value in the later sessions. So we do that every year and it's a lot of fun. He said uh, you really do pay attention to the physical, not uh, weigh as heavy on the page. So what are some of those physical attributes that you look for in a yearling? Well, that's a long answer. Um, you know, horses come in all shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll, I like to say that we have big dippers and little dippers and we have horses that are different, um, you know, angles. Uh, you've got obviously the Northern Dancer lines and you've got Mr. Prospectors and you've got Roberto's and, you know, all over the board Galileo's. So um, what we're trying to do is you look at the page or you look at the horse first, you look at the page, you try to figure out whether or not this is a sprinter, distance turf horse, everything in between. Um, and then what I really focus in on is, is that I try to put a circle and a star around the horses that I think fit the mold of being a, a graded stakes type. And usually they've got great hips, usually they've got good balance, um, even if they're larger horses or smaller horses, and they've got to track through themselves well, so they were very efficient movers. Um, you can forgive here and there, and um, it's obviously a game of failure. Um, you buy more losers than you do winners, but um, I do think there's a pattern to it. Very interesting insight. Thank you so much for it, and we wish you the continued success.